your impressions of how this Spurs team gets beat like that. What happened tonight? Well, the Rockets came out clicking on all cylinders, and it started with James Harden, and he was doing a great job of facilitating and getting the guys off on the perimeter, going downhill, making things happen. He drew a lot of attention, and guys capitalized on the opportunity. And we were talking earlier about how, like, the Spurs last year won by 32, I believe it was, yeah. in the first game against the Thunder. So it's – it's and they didn't win the series. So it, it, it only means one game. But in this brief one-game snapshot – what does this say to you about who this Rocket team is now versus who they've been maybe even this year, but are they different now? Absolutely, and first and foremost, the series has started because the team has lost on its home court. Okay. And you're looking at the Rockets, they're doing a great job of playing defense, not only playing defense, but playing great offense. They're sharing the ball, they're moving the ball, the coaches, D'Antoni is well engaged. You see him fired up on the sideline, even when they're up 25, 30 points, he's so engaged over there. I want to ask you about that specifically because this is a sequence where you're up 31 points and when you and I are watching this game I said what do people think of D'Antoni and you said he's what people think he's a what he's a fun coach to play for he's well, a fun coach to play for but ooh, what? that's that's a that's a animated D'Antoni over there that demands respect and you see a guy like that with a possession up 20 plus points it was, it was 31 when they yeah, hit the three that's just amazing and just to see his sense of urgency still that speaks volumes.